Hey YouTube, it's time for a knife review. So let's take a look at a SOG. SOG Magna Dot. This is about a $20 knife. First impressions, I thought it looked pretty neat. It looked like it would be a pretty capable knife. But uh, like I said, it is only $20. So you really kind of get what you pay for with this one. Um, in the package, it says it comes with a $20 value, free fire starter and sharpener. I don't know if I would ever pay $20 for any kind of small, tiny little fire starter like this. Lockback design, includes a nylon pouch, has a glass reinforced nylon handle. There's the pouch. It says it's got a lifetime warranty. It's got some cheesy writing on the back. The Magna Dot is a meaty folder. It has substance and you know it when it's in your hand. Well, I don't know about that. All right, so let's take a quick look at it. I'm not gonna pull out the fire starter or sharpener or our, or the nylon pouch. It looks like it's a pretty decent pouch. It'll hold the knife, hooks on your belt, etc., etc. Pretty basic. The knife itself does not have a pocket clip on it, which is a first negative in my book. Um, I don't want to carry around a belt clipped nylon ca uh, case, but uh, that's what they want you to do because they don't put a belt clip on this. Um, it's a lockback design, which means it's got the rele lock release on the back of the knife. Folds up. The knife as it's folded up, it's not very compact, it's not small. Uh, it's got this shiny stuff on it, I'm not a big fan of that kind of stuff. Uh, it's got a thumb screw on each side for easy opening, ambidextrous. It opens pretty easy. The blade comes relatively sharp, it's partially serrated. Um, I don't really know what to say about it. It's a pretty thick blade, I guess. If you look at that, it's pretty decent. Um, there is a lot of wiggle in this knife, though. You can't really see it on camera, but it does wiggle. So it's not uh, completely firm. It's not a good solid lock. It's not a good solid screw. Um, made in China. Nothing new there. All the cheap stuff is. It has a pretty good ergonomic grip. Feel it fits good in your hand. Uh, it doesn't have any real good uh, texturing on the top to provide as a thumb grip, so your thumb will slide on that. Uh, it's got a pretty decent amount of uh, grip on the handle. So, like I said, for twenty dollars, I guess it's an okay knife. I think for 20 bucks there are better out there. Um, I got it because it was only 20 bucks and it's a SOG and SOG makes pretty good stuff most of the time. Uh, however, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of this one. Uh, there is a lanyard hole right there if you wanted to hook a lanyard onto it. There's no belt clip though and that's where I usually like to to clip my uh, knives is in my pocket and that, that pocket clip or belt clip uh, holds that knife in there. So it's uh, easy to retrieve without sticking your hand all the way in your pocket. So that's a big negative for me. Um, the wobble factor, it has a pretty, pretty good wobble in there. Um, what would you use this for? Uh, I can't say philosophy of use because that terminology is already taken by a great knife reviewer, nothing fancy. Uh, link below, check out his channel. He's got some great knife reviews there. Uh, so I'm gonna use uh, area of engagement, AOE, standard military term. What would you use this knife for? Where are you going to use it? Well, my biggest concept is a get-home capability. Um, a lot of knife people buy you know two, three hundred dollar knives uh, for collector's stuff or whatever. I couldn't actually really see carrying a knife that expensive. Even sixty dollars for me is just uh, that's pretty expensive. That would be like what I have at home in my packs ready to go, and something like this. The cheaper stuff is what I would carry to get myself home. So my area of engagement would be a get home knife for something like this. Um, but again, uh, not a big fan of this one. Um, I'm actually probably gonna take this back uh, and claim it as defective because of the wobble factor in there. You get too much wobble, it has no pryability, there's no pry factor, you can't you can't pry anything with it. Uh, it's just not, it doesn't give me any kind of reassurances that it's a really sturdy blade. 
So this one's probably going to go back, get my $20 back and spend it on something else. So that is the SOG Magna Dot. Um, Likeability factor. I don't know. Check the check the description below and, and I'll have some more detailed information there about my grading criteria and uh, what I think about this knife. But that's the quick summary of it. Um, this is a novelty fire starter sharpener. That's really not worth anything. And this nylon pouch, like I said, I would never use that anyways because I prefer to clip them in my pockets. So I will um, give this a grading scale down below. And uh, I personally wouldn't waste your $20 on this. Go find a different knife. Um, but that's just my opinion. So do your own research. And I hope you found this review useful. Um, please subscribe. And give me a thumbs up if you, if you like. Please put your comments below. And thanks again for watching. God bless our military servicemen past and present. Keep your powder dry, folks. Take care.